In this video, I'm going to answer a question from one of our viewers here, Jane. She says, Hi Paul, I've just subscribed to your Captivate YouTube site. It is very informative. Thank you. I wanted to use buttons to confirm agreement with a statement. Click one button and it disappears, leaving the response underneath. Uh, example, you go to check mark and an OK. By clicking the OK button, the button disappears, leaving the tick behind. I'm stumped at how to accomplish this. Is this something that can be done in Captivate 8? I would greatly appreciate your advice. Many thanks, Jane. Jane, to answer your question, absolutely this can be done in Captivate 8. In fact, it can be done two different ways, and I'm going to show you both ways right now. So let me just minimize my email here and I've already started to put together just really quickly a very simple example of such a course or such a uh, project. So what I've created is made, uh, a very simple learning agreement. It just uh, has instructions here. Please read the following statement and click on the submit button to show your acknowledgement of the statement. So I have the statement here in its own little smart shape with a submit button, which, uh, you know, we can just center on the smart shape right here. And then, of course, I have a next button, which won't appear until they've acknowledged the statement. And we'll have this little uh, really awful smart shape that I created that looks like a sort of a check mark. Uh, but we'll just call it a check mark. So I've got everything set up. I'm actually, the one thing I want to do to make it easy later on is I'm going to rename some of these objects so I can find them uh, later. So we're going to call that check. We're going to call this submit. You know, and you can use any name that's appropriate for your project. And I'm going to call this next. So I'm just going to hit save because we're going to need this uh, basic template um, later on. So we're going to do this the first way, which is probably the easiest way, and that's just working within the timeline. The timeline, of course, is a panel that's available to you if it's not visible already on your screen. Just go to the Window drop-down menu and make sure that timeline is checked off. Alternatively, you can hit Control alt t and that will show you your timeline at any time. So what we want to be visible at uh, pretty much uh, the start of the image or start of the slide is a few things. So let's just make sure that our timing is for rest of slide for all of these objects. Easily done. So I don't want the check mark to be visible. So I'm going to drag this o over to the um, three second spot. And I don't want the next button to be visible. So we're also going to drag that to the three second spot. And this submit button, we want it to pause just before the three second mark. We'll say 2.9 seconds. And then, of course, we want the Submit button to disappear, or in Jane's case, she has an OK button, and we'll have that disappear at the three-second mark. And that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to accomplish, uh, because what's going to happen is that when you preview this, uh, you'll see the message, you'll see the Submit button, and it'll instruct you, obviously, to hit Submit that says you know, that says that you are acknowledging the statement. The statement is very straightforward. It's just, upon completion of this course, I will email the completed weekly assignments to... So it's just you're gaining agreement from the users. Uh, let's try this out. So that's pretty straightforward. We'll just do a preview of this slide. From this slide is fine. And this will open up in a browser. So we have our uh, statement here. Incidentally, I've just noticed that I still have a play bar turned on. I would recommend that you turn that off, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So we have our statement here. So it says, please read the following statement. So these are my instructions. And click the Submit button to show your acknowledgement of the statement. So the statement is, upon completion of this course, I will email the completed weekly assignments to my manager, regional manager, and to the course facilitator 
on the due dates assigned. If I fail to do this, I will not be considered successful in the completion of this course. Yes, I agree with that. And so I get a check mark and a next. And again, all that happened was, uh, you know, we continued on that slide past the point where the submit button was available and into a, a point where the check mark was visible and the next button was visible. And of course, then the user could click next and continue with the rest of the course. Uh, let's turn off that. Um, how you do that is you go to the skin editor. Uh, if we want to turn off the play bar, just simply uncheck it from here and that way it won't be visible. So pretty straightforward, nothing fancy there. Let's close this, but I'm not going to save it. And then I'm going to open it up once more. And we're going to do the same thing, accomplish the same thing, but slightly different. Uh, let's just go in there and resize these buttons here so they're a little bit larger on the screen. And that's fine there. It doesn't have to be perfect. So in this case here, you know, I have pretty much, uh, you know, what I started with. Right off the bat, I'll go into the skin editor and we'll turn off that play bar so we can get that taken care of right, of, right away. So what I'm going to do differently here, I have that submit button. That's fine where it is. Um, everything's labeled appropriately. We'll just take the, uh, the check mark and we'll select uh, or will uncheck rather visible and output. You see you've got this little icon that represents visibility. It's an eyeball I think. And we'll just put a uncheck on there or a slash through it. And we'll do the same thing for our next button. We'll make that not visible and output as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use advanced actions to essentially do the same thing. So the action for submit will be instead of go to next slide or, or whatever it might be, we will actually execute advanced actions. And to create a new advanced actions, just click the folder icon next to the script drop down menu. And that will bring up the advanced actions window here. We'll call this agreement. And we need to simply show two items and hide one item. So in this case here we will show the check, that's the check mark, and we will show the next button, but in addition we're going to hide the submit button. And that's all you need to do there. So we're going to close that Make sure you save it. And of course now make sure that you select Execute Advanced Actions and then choose the Agreement Script. So that should work perfectly fine. Let's preview that. We'll do from this slide. So we have the statement here, please, lead, blah, blah, please read the statement, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I agree. I'm going to hit submit. Now I have my check mark and my next button, and I can proceed with the rest of my course. So again, two different ways to do exactly the same thing. And that's the beauty of Adobe Captivate. There is so many different ways to do different things. One, we simply use the timeline, and that's, you know, quite an easy way to do things. Um, the advantage of creating an advanced action to do the same thing is that you could reuse that advanced action, um, you know, for other courses or, or what have you. Um, guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.